Hi Capricorns, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading today. We have another bomb reading. And I hope you guys are well, yeah. And so Capricorn, we have desire in this reading and passion and adventure beckon. Yeah, they beckon. So yeah, it's very cool, right? And uh, mm -hmm. before we begin, if you want your own psychic reading, Capricorn, treat yourself for Christmas. They're lots of fun. I'm a silver grad and you get a tarot spread at the end. Yeah, you do. Uh, if you get the combo and they both have their own unique insight. Uh, you can get an I Ching reading. Uh, those are super um, priced really well. Yeah, those are going to be $40. Yeah, they are. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, they take a little longer than I thought, but uh, they're really a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun in terms of wisdom. Like, very profound. You learn. You learn what your person's thinking about and how they think, and it's really deep. Or, you know, or it can help you with your own expanded awareness on some type of a concern you have. So uh, I can help you with timing. Let's get into it. I have plenty of readings on my website, Mystic Gem with a K, mysticgem.com. All that is listed below. If you want a free five-minute psychic reading with Mystic Sense, click on that link below. That's somebody else. I'm Mystic Gem, and they are Mystic Sense. And Capricorn, we start with flow and desire. So somebody's really desiring you and they're going with the flow. Yeah, they are. And interesting how the flow is, uh, this other branch here that is kind of hanging down, uh, from the rest of the tree. So this flow here is, it's possible that it is something that is, uh, unconventional or maybe people don't like it, or it just doesn't fit in the box possibly because you know, the flow, here's the river. So, and he's pulling from a different part of the, of the, uh, of the tree. It's interesting in this card, he is not pushing the river, right? Which never works, right? I want to make this work with so-and-so. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I mean, it can, not saying nothing can ever work out, but when you push it or you kind of try to control it or force it, no, it doesn't work. Right. I feel like there's a million songs like that and they're all full of wisdom, <laughs> even though they say the same thing, right? And the desire. So somebody desires something that may be out of the box or unconventional, but they don't, they're like, um, this is my flow. That's what this is. This is my flow. I'm going with it. And here's a tiger and he doesn't really look, his body looks more like, I don't know, some type of a short dog here. <laughs> uh, here he is full of passion and adventure. And the hippopotamus is here. Yeah. Did you guys ever hear that song? I want a hippopotamus for Christmas, right? I asked my little, my little granddaughter, I go, what does he want? She goes, a hippopotamus. I go, oh, okay. So, you know, this hippopotamus here, a friend stand close by to shield you from life's adversities. Somebody is doing something. They're going after a passionate, adventurous relationship here, full of desire. And somebody else doesn't like that. That's how it looks here. And somebody's being so your boyfriend or your girlfriend or maybe you or whoever is being supported though, I believe, by somebody, by friends. Friends stand close by. So here they are standing close by, and you know, uh the hippopotamus is really scary. All, I think all he has to do is flip something at you. I mean, he, I think he weighs three thousand pounds or right? Okay. He's pretty uh powerful here. We have happiness and introspection. Yeah, somebody's going with the flow, the flow, the flow of mojo, the flow. Mm -hmm. See, what we got here for Capricorn. Let's see, what we have Capricorn, and today we have your person's cards here. So we're gonna find out all about them, right? Yeah. Uh, no, you do that with an I Ching reading. That's how you do that, or with a psychic reading. But we're gonna find out a lot here. <laughs> we have judgment, the ace of swords. This is a huge reading. The hierophant reverse this is a big reading already. Yeah. It's a big, big reading. Yeah. I heard the spiritual teacher and she was going, she goes, yeah, a great big giant, big part of, <laughs> she was cute, but she's great. Yeah. It's this great lady. I was listening to that just cracked me up, but she was trying to point out something huge. Yeah. So she, yeah. Let's see what else we have Capricorn and your challenge is the queen of pentacles. So maybe you're in your own way, possibly Capricorn. I don't like to say that, but maybe somebody and maybe your person is a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn. 
Maybe you simply feel challenged showing up in your challenge, right? Yeah, the challenge doesn't always mean the exact challenge. It's just, you know, it lends to anything that is surrounding feeling challenged, basically, right? And here's the tower. If you guys want to learn tarot, you can do that too. We have the hanged man. Go to my website, right? The hangman, one, two, three, four major arcanas, and there's seven cards here, an ace and a queen. Can you believe this stuff? Yeah, I do, right? Yeah, okay. Let's see what else we have for your person, Capricorn. And uh, mm -hmm. and let's have a look at your cards. The Hierophant is reversed. Mm-hmm. This is what's on your mind. You want a new beginning here. Maybe you made a decision. Judgment sits in the past. You could have made a decision. I'm not really thinking you did, but you could have. You could have definitely made a decision because uh, the Ace of Swords is next to it. That can be a decision sometimes. I feel like what you are wondering, what's on your mind here, is a new beginning and some type of something that's unconventional because of the flow card this here if it reverse could be a divorce it could be this could, that that that's what could be standing in your way next to the queen of pentacles maybe you have to get one maybe somebody needs one uh and this can also be somebody's poor belief system the here if it reversed or you're feeling like maybe you feel like this person doesn't believe in you anymore it's possible you're feeling that way here maybe you don't believe in them but for me with the ace here and the ace, a new beginning and judgment here, you look like you want rebirth or a new beginning here. Now you could have made a decision. You could have, we're going to see a little bit more here because we're just kind of briefly looking at your cards. Let's look at theirs first or next, not first two of pentacles. And we have the lovers here always showing up in your readings, Capricorn. So maybe it's a Gemini all the time, but it is a choice in love or it is about two lovers or a soulmate. It's usually it, right? Mm -hmm. Four of swords reversed in the challenge. We'll move the camera back in just a moment. We have Virgo or the hermit and we have the eight of pentacles here. So, you know, in this particular reading here, now we have, adjusted the camera here and in this their challenge here is i believe they feel restless God, look at all the majors here this person wants a new path page of wands what's on their mind the lovers the choice the two of pentacles here they are this person's choosing you maybe they're wondering if you'll have them you guys are mirroring each other in this reading where two people want want a new beginning, but you're in the tower over it, Capricorn. Or you feel like they are. You want something to fall down here, a belief system, another relationship. And we have this hippopotamus card, right? Friends stand close by to shield you from life's adversities. Maybe somebody is breaking up with somebody in this reading. A lot of spiritual cards up here for you. Judgment, the Hierophant reversed, and uh, and the Hangman. You know, the Tower is, uh, it's, it's a spiritual card because it's ruled by Scorpio. Anything that is ruled by Scorpio is spiritual. So, you know, this could be, you're hoping somebody will figure it out. Like maybe their life will get so hard, the tower, that everything will come crumbling and they'll wake up. You could be because the hangman is in your fears and doubts. You could be fearing that they're not going to ever be enlightened. This flow card talks about somebody being enlightened right here. He's like, this is my flow here. I go according to my heart, the desire card here. So we know that here, we know it's about somebody's heart because the passion, the passion is there with the tiger. So you could be here, uh, kind of hoping that this person's world will come crashing down. So they'll wake up 
because here's judgment and that is an awakening as well. Yeah, it can be a decision sometimes, but it's not so much usually. It's more of an awakening or a rebirth or judgment that somebody went through, like the tower can be like a, a, a hard time, like a wake up, but like, you know, like the tower type of wake up or the night of the soul. That's usually what judgment is. It's more spiritual than just making a decision. Now, you know, if it's next to the king of swords, it could be a decision, right? It could be, but it, it, you could be wondering if they have made a decision, but I feel like what this is, is that you want a rebirth and this may be you as well, but you want a rebirth and you're hoping this person's going to wake up. There's too many wake up cards here. The hangman, the tower and judgment. Ace of swords can be a wake up card too. It can be clarity and focus. It is the biggest sword and the sword is the mind realm. Yeah, it is. And you know, the Hierophant is a spiritual card. It's about belief systems. In the reverse, it could be maybe possibly about a marriage that is like no longer sacred. Like nobody really like wants it, right? Or they don't respect it kind of, or, or they don't see it that way anymore. Something like that. But down here, your person wants a new path here. Two of Pentacles, ju uh, the lovers and the page of wands. They want a new direction in their life. They are restless here. Four of Swords. Maybe they're hoping, uh, and this could be them in their spiritual growth as the hermit. The hermit is about seeking answers or spiritual growth or a Virgo. <laughs> maybe you, maybe you are, maybe your person's a Virgo here, the queen of pentacles here, right? Uh, maybe they're a Taurus, the Hierophant reversed. And, uh, maybe they're another Capricorn. We are, you know, unsure, possibly, I don't, not maybe too many maybes. I don't like maybe, right? Uh, yeah, this person could be hoping you've grown possibly spiritually. I believe this person has sought out their answers. Like they know spiritually what they want. This is the person who has reached their flow. And I feel like somebody was pushing the river before in some way, like just living their life, not in alignment with who they are or what they really want, or, uh, maybe listening to other people or being in a relationship that no longer was working, whatever it was, the flow was not there. No. And so, and that can mean stagnancy, right? And so the eight of pentacles, this person is a fearing a little bit Capricorn that you're not going to be invested or some, something like that. They could be afraid of money loss. We'll get a couple cards on your person. Let's look at your challenge though first. Let's see. Let's look back up at you uh, possibly or what's in your challenge is Queen of Pentacles. And the Ten of Swords is in your challenge. For you, Capricorn, something has to end here. The Hierophant Reverse could be end of a, a, a belief system or a marriage. Judgment. Rebirth. That's an ending. It's, it's some type of an ending, but it's a rebirth. Here's an adversity with the hippopotamus. The Ten of Swords is in your challenge and you want the tower or you're hoping. So there's an ending in this reading for sure. I feel like you are wanting it. And maybe you are the one who wants it with somebody you're with. You may be wondering if this person has ever like kind of reached their flow. If they know what they want, you could. And if they're going to be living according to their desires, right? Really important. You only live once unless you, you know, meet that person in the next life. Their challenge, four of swords, two of cups, four of swords reverse. This person is restless. Oh my goodness here. Yeah. They're ready to face the tiger here, Capricorn. 
right? I don't care if this tiger comes after me. I'm going for toward passion and adventure. They beckon, <laughs> right? And so the two of cups and the Virgo card is here or the hermit, I should say. And that is, um, let's see. And they have the six of wands. This person is wants a victory in their life. They may want you to recognize them possibly. Maybe for growing. It is definitely possible because there's definitely a growth here. Uh, and somebody, you know, we have introspection here and, you know, introspection brings growth. That's the whole idea of, uh, people when they go on retreats, right? I haven't gone on one. Can you guys tell? Just kidding. <laughs> uh, but I want to, yeah, but I've done my spiritual work. Yeah. I didn't have to go on a retreat to do it. Yeah. I had a couple of towers, boom, right? That'll, you don't have to go pay for that, right? <laughs> And, you know, on Christmas uh, party, at a Christmas party the other day, uh, somebody told me who was a little bit of a jerk in the past that they, uh, not to me really, but just like in general, this is somebody 20 years younger, uh, that, you know, he was having uh, problems in his marriage. And so he went on a retreat and he has changed 100%. And I was like, oh my goodness, wow. So have faith in your fellow man. Yeah. And so this person wants a victory or they want to overcome all this. I feel like this person wants a victory here and you're kind of emotional about it or thinking it's not going to happen, something like that. But your way, you're, this person really wants this to have cups in the challenge for them. A new path, the lovers is I'm making a choice here. They're restless. The reason why they are in the two of pentacles here is they're coming to talk to you. Page of wands. This is like, I want to talk to you. And so this, they're just thinking of, this is them introspection right now. Two of pentacles. He's doing a jig while he does it. Right. Yeah. That's, that's his style of doing it. Right. You guys know what a jig is? I feel like it's originally Celtic, right? Like the people from the South. Uh, a lot of them, Appalachia, and I feel like they are um, a lot of Celts. The blue bluegrass music is really from, I think, Ireland and Scotland originally. Yeah. All right. So let's get back to this here, right? Enough of, uh, I don't know, history lesson here. Uh, we have, uh, mm -hmm. we'll get a card. Why is that six of wands there for them? Nine of wands. Okay, so they're not sure this is going to happen. But this person's been through a lot and they want a victory here and they want this new path. They want a reunion. Here is the two of cups in the challenge and they are restless, four of swords reversed and in their fears and doubts, Capricorn, the eight of pentacles. Maybe they're afraid you're not going to invest in them. This person could have done something in the past because there's such growth here. Yeah, there's such a like, maybe they were, you know, awful. It's possible. Five of swords or immature, the very least. Or maybe afraid to see the truth about themselves or just the truth about life possibly here. Because this reading talks about somebody who's going with the flow. And they don't care and they're going through something really hard to reach that. And they want this passionate adventure. Five of swords in the challenge for this person. See, there's an ending for them. There's some type of loss. And in order for them to have this victory with you, th there's something's coming down here. Something's being ended. And that's what this, you know, friends stand close by to shield you from life's adversities. Maybe you were the adversity. Uh, that is, that is kind of unclear, but I feel like this person, uh, in some way, but I feel like this person wants to re they want to be with you. If it's not a re reunion, this person wants you here, two of cups and you have judgment. So you look like you want to rebirth with this person. And this looks like it's going to happen. And they look like they're a little afraid, but this looks like it's going to happen. This person sees happiness with you, Capricorn right here. Here's a ladybug, little ladybug. I never see any ladybugs anymore. Somebody says, I see them all the time. No, they have uh, used too much, too much stuff. We're not going to talk about the stuff. Uh, grasshoppers are, those are really hard to come by too. Mm -hmm. And I live in this little oasis over here in California. So uh, they were all over. They were. So that's, you know, that's something else, right? But 
uh, here or Capricorn. This person desire and happiness they want you. You could be their sweet pea, Capricorn. Is that what they call you, sweet pea? Or is it olive oil? Just kidding. <laughs> that was that was olive oil's baby, sweet pea. I think so. It's hilarious. We're going to end this reading. Thank you so much for joining me here. If you guys want your own reading, you should always get one. Treat yourself for Christmas. Your birthday's coming too. But yeah, definitely uh, get or get one for the new year. Definitely to see uh, to see what's in store. Thanks so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.